Help me? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're getting ready for the video. Okay, so I'm just going to have you help me point out things and then we'll, uh, we'll go from oh, there, okay? So I'm going to show you where to point as well. You ready? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. I don't see yeah, that red button. Look, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is the video. This is the video, watch. guys. You guys can either watch or you can film or you can come over here oh, and like leave. stop. Record it. Recording. Oh, God. You guys are real clouding in. Okay, so we have our rat up here. We have our glands, the sal salivary glands under here. Oh my God. Uh, we have our trachea. You can tell us the trachea because of all of the cartilage rings. Now the cartilage rings, those are the things that help keep the trachea uh, intact. So without it, the, 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 the trachea would actually collapse. So that's why you have the cartilage rings. So when we move past, we have our heart, we have our ventricles, and we have our aortas. They're just the different colors. You got your two, your uh, vena cava and the aorta. The vena cava will be blue because it's along the lines of the veins. Veins are blue. The red or the pinkish color, those will be your arteries or your aorta. When you pass the, the heart, you got these lobes over here. These are your lungs off to the sides and this right down here there's this little piece of flap of skin it was all from here to here that would be where your diaphragm is now the diaphragm that was originally attached to the body wall because the, when your diaphragm expands it needs to be attached to the body wall here we have our lobes our uh, liver lobes one two and three you want to push the just these guys up so I can see past it. Right here, we have our stomach. The stomach falls right underneath it. This lovely stuff right here, this is your pancreas. This is the pancreas. This, this little fun stuff, the little gooey stuff, that's your pancreas. You follow this down, all of this is your small intestine. Now your small intestine is much larger than your large intestine. Yes, it's much longer. Your large intestines is, follow, is down here, but in between, you have something called your cecum. That's this large item right here. In here, that's where you have your more microorganisms to help aid the digestion of cellulose. Because the rats, since they're herbivores, they have longer uh, small intestines than carnivores because they have a large, ah, they have a larger diet of fibers and plants. That's much harder to break down than fat. That's also why there's no gallbladder because they have a low fat diet. We have a high fat diet. That's why we have a gallbladder. Then you get to your cecum. Should I after this? yeah, after your cecum. Also, you have your colon. The colon, I believe, is this right here, right in between your cecum and your large intestine. Don't count me on that. Make sure you look at that one again, okay? That's something to double check, fact check me on that. So when you get past all of this, you have this right here that starts your large intestine. Your large intestine, it's a little tangled all the way down to here. This is your large intestine. Oh, it's so small. Yeah, it's much smaller. In here, this is where it leads down to the anus. This is your spleen. This is your spleen. Over here, Go ahead and push these to the side for me. This is the kidney. Looks like a kidney bean. It's on both sides. For the females, let's see if I can find it. This long strand kind of looks like just a long piece of skin. That I believe is the uterine the uterine horn. You can tell because of the V like shape. It goes from here over to here and your ovary would be over here. Yeah. Over to here is your other side. Your uterine horn makes that V which leads down to the reproductive system. Okay. And that I believe is all you really need to know. You can see down here you have more um, of the large arteries and veins mm -hmm. that lead all the way down. That is your renal veins and arteries. These are your renal veins, renal veins and arteries going down this direction.
and that should be good. That is for the female rat. Your male rats, you will notice that there will be <laughs> testicles inside the scrotum. The testicles, uh, they're very obvious to see because they are they look like little eggs yeah. and they have blue veins all over them. There's, it's gonna also be sitting in like a cup. That cup is called the epididymis. It's basically on the underneath of the, the testy and it looks like it's the egg is sitting in a cup. That's the epi, epididymis. The van's different is just the, the cord that's attached to it. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's be nice. That should, that, should, that, should be, that should be good. 